Ukraine possesses drones capable of reaching Russian Siberia, The Economist. Ukraine has new drone models capable of flying over 3,000 kilometers and reaching Russian Siberia, reports The Economist. According to the source, it was known that Ukraine had drones capable of covering distances of over 1,000 kilometers. However, there are now companies that have invested hundreds of millions of dollars to produce long-range drones capable of searching for and striking distant targets. The best among the new models has a range of 3,000 kilometers and is capable of reaching Siberia. The production of such drones is necessary as Western partners are reluctant to provide armaments to Ukraine. Since President Volodymyr Zelensky prioritized the technology, Ukraine has invested hundreds of millions of dollars into long-range drones capable of searching out and striking distant targets. Half a dozen firms now make them, the source writes. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukraine has started producing dozens of drones. This includes not only unmanned aerial vehicles, but also surface drones. According to the Minister for Strategic Industries, Oleksandr Kamishin, Ukraine has established serial production of a domestic counterpart to the Shahed drones. Additionally, the Ukrainian military has managed to develop and successfully test kamikaze drones similar to the Russian Lancets. Minister of Digital Transformation Mykhailo Fedorov announced that Ukraine aims to transition electronic warfare production onto market rails and open it up to entrepreneurs. Since President Volodymyr Zelensky prioritized the technology, Ukraine has invested hundreds of millions of dollars into long-range drones capable of searching out and striking distant targets. Half a dozen firms now make them. Ukraine's campaign of attacks against Russian oil refineries is demonstrating how relatively cheap drones that utilize artificial intelligence could pose a major threat to global energy markets. Ukraine-launched drones have hit 18 Russian oil refineries this year with a combined capacity of 3.9 million barrels per day, according to a report published by JP Morgan earlier this month. Heavy rains and flood that swept through the Gulf region on Tuesday have crippled cities in the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. The floods have also killed 18 people in Oman. As a result of the floods, the flights have been postponed in these countries. The situation is more critical in the city of Dubai, the UAE. The city has declared an orange danger level, as the authorities have urged residents to stay indoors unless there is an urgent need. As a result of heavy rains, strong winds and thunderstorms, several flights have been delayed and cancelled at the Dubai International Airport, the busiest in the world. Government agencies, as well as many private sector enterprises, have switched to remote work in Dubai due to floods. Schools were shut ahead of the storm in the Gulf City. Authorities sent tanker trucks to pump away the water in the streets and highways. The rain that started on Tuesday night is expected to continue through Wednesday, the UAE's National Center of Meteorology warned. You can see the traffic in Sheikh Zayed Road. 
just now is Choco Block. I'm sure these people are not going to reach home today because there is so much of water here. See, this is a road which has turned into this has turned into a river, and this land cruiser is submerged. If you can see, uh, uh, the people were pulled out from the sunroof. They have tied it with a rope now. And so there is no traffic movement here and that is why I think they have closed the Sheikh Zayed road. So you can see the traffic stranded here. Here also because there is so much of water. Again there are no, there is no movement here. So it's just at a standstill here.